about a week and a half ago in the Netherlands was King's Day. Once upon a time it was Queen's Day, but it's now King's Day because I have a king and there was a queen and it was Queen's Day. And it's, even though I've lived here for ages, I can't honestly tell you what it is. It is generally um, something where people come out and celebrate, have a lot of fun, everything gets becomes orange. Uh, orange everywhere and if you live in Amsterdam I think you experience it in a very different way what I have noticed is that residents people who re live in Amsterdam who've sort of integrated themselves into the Amsterdam community or society or whatever we don't like King's Day very much and especially if you live in the middle of town like I do because it's just this massive influx of people from everywhere, all parts of the country come into the city. And there's something about this day that makes a lot of people believe on this day, it's a free for all. There are no rules, there are no, you can do whatever you want. And the, um, how can I say, the main, driver the main catalyst is alcohol so you have just a lot of rowdiness it's not aggressive or anything it's just very rowdy and very very crowded so it's almost impossible to move from one place to another unless you're the kind of person who loves being squashed and squished amongst thousands of other people i don't like that so either we would go away leave the city or stay inside and hide <laughs> Uh, around the house, you're just hearing all this sort of boom, 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 you know, all this, uh, I don't know why the, the primary, uh, the main sort of music played on such a day is, is a, a kind of house music. I don't know house very well, so maybe I'm making a mistake, but it's got that, you know, that heavy beat, and you just hear it all over the place. Occasionally, there are helicopters circling around. But anyway, I stay inside, um, and then at night around, I, 10-ish or any time after 10 I just I don't know why I need to go outside I need to go outside anyway but so I go out and I know what I'm going to see and there's a film uh, a film called Catch-22 or based on the novel the first film I think there's a series in the film but in the film um, there's a scene in a city in Italy I'm not sure which one it is and it's a sort of very late night, a very early morning scene. You have people staggering around, and it, it's it's a very, it's a very. I find it quite an interesting scene, um, and that's kind of what you or what I met once I sort of went out and <laughs> entered the mainstream because the big crowds have all gone by this time; they've disappeared. So you have the stragglers, you have the diehards, you have those who are fully committed to being completely wasted and there are it is almost you know if you were an alien and landed you would believe that humanity this is the way humanity moves we are incapable incapable of moving in a straight line but we stagger all over the place so i come out and the, i see glass of course there's glass everywhere side note you generally, or I never cycle for a few days after King's Day because there's so much glass everywhere, even though they clean it up, which is quite amazing how they do that. So I go out, uh, there's just rubbish everywhere. And the rubbish is, you know, the plastic beer beakers, um, cans, just party kind of trash. And then, of course, uh, the route I took, I was only out for about an hour, and I just saw people staggering one way or another, usually quite jolly, but every so often you hear this kind of and you look and see a group of guys sort of just being happy or um, exuberant about something. Though uh, women are also involved, this is an equal oppor opportunity uh, chance to get wasted. And I did see uh, two young ladies who were supporting one another and they're sort of staggering, and I said they're about, I think, 15 meters in front of me when they fell the first time. So they sort of fell. It wasn't this major collapse. It was kind of collapse, a drunken collapse where you sort of, uh, you sort of end up on the floor, and they sort of laugh, and they get up and continue, and <laughs> their systems, their balance systems are so out of whack that they take a few more steps and fall down. 
And I'm wondering what to do because I think she, I don't want to look at them because I don't know what expression I have on my face. I don't feel, oh, you can't do this. Look, I, I have had my share when I was young <laughs> of being very, very badly damaged while moving around town due to too much beer or whatever. But um, so I was passing them and I heard one of them say, I don't think this was meant to happen. And I just found that really funny. Um, continued walking, of course, you see lots of stuff. And then the next day, when the Amsterdamers reappear, they're all, we're all sort of like, oh man, this is crazy. Why is everybody, why do they bring everybody in? Um, I think I'd mentioned once how the very, very first King's Day, the weather people said it would be terrible weather. So very few people came to Amsterdam. They decided, well, what's the point? Let's stay at home. However, it was actually beautiful weather. And the result was that this was a King's Day that I did go out on and wander around. And you met people, had incredible conversations with people. Um, now that I'm thinking of it, it's as if, while I said that King's Day does allow people or, or, or encourage people to get, just lose their minds, you. I do, when I do talk to people, notice that there's a certain openness, there's a willingness, okay, today, I'm just, I don't care who you are, I'm going to talk to you, you're just another person like me. And that, um, I had said in the previous video about the first day of, the first warm day and that good vibe. So this is, again, one of those things that it really would be wonderful if the energy and um, bounce of a King's Day could, could echo for at least half a year. You know what I mean? You just have people, especially in Amsterdam, which is crowded and people are kind of getting angry a bit too quickly these days, I think. But it'd be nice if you had that just good energy flowing everybody, everywhere, everybody being, being uh, or feeling really cool, everybody accepting everybody else. Uh, everybody accepting that everyone else has a right to be there and, and just be themselves. That, had I been a politician, which I never could be, but had I been a politician or perhaps a benevolent dictator, I would demand that um, every our society had into its uh, constitution certain days where you just have to feel good.